Welcome back. As explained in the last lecture, one problem we currently have in the sign up process here is that I can enter invalid email addresses like this one. And that certainly isn't the behavior I want. So I need to change this. And one thing to, or one way to change this is to add validation. Now you could of course write your own logic, but that's pretty complex and unnecessary. Like uh, as for many things in your express applications, there are third party packages you dump into your project to add the functionality you need. In the case of validation, I recommend express validator and this is the GitHub repository of the creator or of this package. And there too, you find a link on how to install this as well as some usage examples and um, well, in the documentation for this package. So over in the project, I will install it with the save flag though, to also um, place a entry in the package.json file. And then my first step is to set it up here in my app.js file. So I will name this a validator and require it express validator and you need to start this validator after your body parser here is done. This order is important so validator should be executed here because the validator will on its own parse the body and retrieve the parameters you want to validate from the submitted request body. Therefore this has to be done after the body is parsed of course otherwise you can't validate it. So with that being set up, the next step is to add the validation in the route. However, here we're using Passport to handle all the, the requests and create the user. So the right place to continue is Passport.js. Now in this file here, I want to validate inside this callback. I'm getting the request passed to the callback since I set this to true. And therefore, I can access all the parameters of the callback. So before checking if the email address already exists in the database and doing all that, I will simply validate the past parameters. So I will do this by running request check body, a function added by this validator. And I want to check the email field and I want to send back the message invalid email if validation fails. So this is specified as a second parameter here. And then I chain the validators I want to use. In my case is email is one of the validators as well as before even checking the email if it is not empty because I want it to be passed. And then I duplicate this to also validate the password and check if or say invalid password if this fails and I check if it is not empty and I also replace is email here with is length and then I pass an object where I specify the minimum length to be four characters. And with that I have validation in place but I'm currently not handling any errors. So this would check it and it would recognize that maybe the email is wrong but it wouldn't do anything. In order to do anything I will add a new variable called errors where I will check if any validation errors appeared. I can do it like this validation errors is a function added by this package and using the errors thrown by my validators I registered here on my request. So with these errors extracted I can check if I have any with the if function here and if I do have errors I want to create an array of messages which I want to pass back to the view. So I will then loop through my errors with this for each function here and for each error I find, I will simply push it on my messages array here. However, I will not push the complete error, but only the message. Now dot message here is of course a field this validator package adds for each error. So each error there basically has a param field describing which parameter through the error and the message field as well as another field. But this message field here is the important field for us. And with that, I can in this case then return done null because well we didn't get an error in the case of a technical error or anything like that but it was also not successful so false and I want to flash an error message. Now I'm not returning message here like before as this argument but instead I will add the errors myself by calling request flash 
and then assigning it to the error field there, which I'm already extracting in the view, and then assigning my messages. With that, I'm sending my bundled messages to the view with this flash middleware here. And in the view, I'm looping through all the messages and I'm displaying them here. So this should work. I'll restart my server. Revisit this page and I'll try to enter an invalid email address. Missing credentials. So I enter both. Now I get invalid email. I enter both and a password which is too short. I get invalid email and invalid, invalid password. And now only the password. And now a valid email address, which has already been taken, email is already in use. So the complete validation here is working in the way I want. And I make sure that only, well, valid values can be passed to the database. With that, the sign up process looks pretty, pretty good. And it's time to continue with the next part, which is about signing in the user and then also protecting the routes. See you there. Bye.